Poppin' B, Herb Hawk here, and welcome back to another episode of Race the Ramen, the show where I attempt to review something unscripted in the amount of time it takes to boil an instant ramen. And today we're taking a look at the whole dang Pokemon Sword and Shield controversy, and my personal take on it. Okay, let's start the timer right now. Okay, so, the Pokemon Sword and Shield controversy. It's taking me a few times to film this, so just, just know that I'm trying my best to boil this down into my full opinion. I'm going to assume you're somewhat familiar with the controversy because we just don't have time to go over it all. Uh, the Dexit cut of over half all the national decks and the, the reuse of 3D models that was discovered that Game Freak was doing, the Ocarina of Time ass looking trees that showed off how the graphics haven't made a big jump, uh, the hashtags on Twitter, Game Freak lied and thank you Game Freak and the toxicity from the fan base and how everything just kind of looks pointless in, in getting mad about it because the game's already sold like six million copies in one week, all that. All of that is a mess, but here's what I want to talk about mainly. And what I want to talk about is how most of this stuff is in service of a bigger problem, okay? Pokemon is a great series. I adore it, many people adore it. It wouldn't be the biggest, best-selling media franchise on the planet if there wasn't something about it that people liked, and there's plenty. The big problem is that Pokemon has become too complacent. The quality of life changes in the new game, which I kind of forgot to mention in my uh, review video, sorry about that, like move tutors and move deleters at every Pokemon Center, the portable PC box, the mandatory XP share, and being able to avoid random encounters for the most part. These are all great changes, but they're not enough. Pokemon is like a comfort zone, a happy place for a lot of people. If you change it too much, it could be messy, but it's worked well for other Nintendo franchises, and I think it's about time that Pokemon had a big shakeup. I want to make it clear that the big problem for me, personally, with Sword and Shield, despite liking it quite a bit, is that this was kind of a big jump for people. When Pokemon X and Y jumped to 3D, people kind of expected Pokemon to be the best it had ever been, because it was a huge jump and we were finally getting the 3D Pokemon we wanted. It wasn't. It was kind of just another iterative Pokemon game. A lot of people were kind of disappointed with that. I get the same impression from Sword and Shield. Main series Pokemon finally comes to console and it's not the best that it could be. And that is the main thing. This is a big event. Pokemon coming to console. Main series anyway. And you have all the money in the world. We, we kind of expected this game to be bigger. And not just bigger, but like the best that it could be. And it wasn't. We just want Pokemon to be the best that it could be. Those of us that care, and that's what I wanted, more or less. Okay. I know I basically always break the, the three minute rule and talk outside a term, but I just wanted to say this. I just want to hammer my point home, okay? The controversy was blown toxic toxically, poisonously, dramatically out of proportion. There were people, fans acting like horrible people and children, bringing Game Freak's morale down to nothing. And, but let me just say this. While those fans and the, the extreme haters were like really bad, and you shouldn't do stuff like that, the controversy and all these things is really just a magnified version of what a lot of us think. Pokemon is great, but it could be much better. Considering all the money and resources you have, Nintendo and Game Freak, we just we kind of hoped that Sword and Shield, the first big mainline TV on the TV console Pokemon games, would blow our minds, and they didn't. And after eight generations and nearly 25 years, we just kind of expect a little more. We need some kind of shakeup, some kind of change. What will that be? I don't know. But I didn't know for Super Mario Odyssey, and I didn't know for Breath of the Wild, and those turned out great, so please, get creative, get inspired and innovative, surprise me, surprise us. I love you guys, and I want to see you be the absolute best that you can be. 
That's not what Sword and Shield really was. It was just another one. A good one. But just another one. Give us your best, guys. You brought out the best in us. At your best. Just do it again. We believe in you. Or to paraphrase uh, the Johto opening, why not? It's a whole new place with a brand new attitude, but you still gotta catch them all. Be the best that you can be. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, why not give it a like or comment below tell me what you thought about it. If you wanna follow me on Twitter for updates and stuff, you can find me at Perpok Party Bus. If you want to see another video like this, there's more on my channel and others, so go ahead and check that out. Thanks again for watching. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. See you later.